to my channel so today is going to be a very productive day i have to exercise still i have two packages coming in the mail um one is a birthday present and then one is something i ordered a little bit ago um you guys will get to see what those things are and then i have one more piece of homework to do before spring break starts so I have to get that done. That is the plan today. It's currently 10 a.m. I still have to exercise and eat breakfast and stuff. So I am gonna get ready. It's gonna be a productive day. I can promise you that. So this is the gym fit for the day. It actually kind of matches despite this being like a paint splatter tie-dye for whatever reason when I did laundry um, all the fuzzies from my towel have now connected to my leggings so that really sucks <laughs> my top is from Target this is a sports bra and has like a cross in the back and then I'm pretty sure these leggings are also from Target but don't quote me on that because I'm not sure <laughs> It's currently like 12 30 and I haven't eaten anything today so I'm gonna make myself some breakfast slash lunch maybe watch a movie or something but I feel good <laughs> some scissors though for my birthday my brother got me something from the brand litchi the label which is like a k-pop inspired clothing brand you might have seen them on tiktok they're pretty cool but i finally got it like two weeks later which i'm so excited i am so hyped for this oh my god okay i'm gonna open it Oh, they are so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. So these are them. They're called the reflective joggers because I think these bits like are reflective and it has a zipper right here. I wonder if this is like it actually. It's actually a pocket. Okay, cool. It has some pouches and it just says like athletic material. Oh, they're so cute. I have little mess at the bottom. So these are what the pants look like on. They're so adorable. They have like zippers. There's a little mesh moment down there. Sorry if you can see my feet. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Besides me totally raving about these pants. I also, I've been hearing about this all over the internet and I'm sure you've heard about it all over the internet. I've been seeing Curology on all of my social media platforms on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, everything, and everyone is talking about it. And so I decided that I wanted to get it. My skin's been breaking out really, really bad. I have a friend uh, not involved at all with social media who got it and said that she loved it. She deals with the same problem I do, which is cystic acne. You take an online quiz, you answer all the questions, they take pictures of your acne and your face, and they pair you with dermatologists and stuff, which is really cool. So this is exciting. And you get a little card that says Curology. And then it says, love your skin every day. Welcome, dear Curology member, to your new routine. It's here for your morning and night, and it's made with love by our dermatologists. One, cleanser. Start with our gentle cleanser to remove dirt. Two, custom formula. 
Next up, your custom formula and it's just for you because your skin isn't like anyone else's, which I do appreciate. And I've battled with acne for years, so I feel like it's it's about time I put some money into it and take some carefulness. So this is what the box looks like after you take the card out. This is the acne body wash. Body acne handled a splash of salicylic acid washes, treats, and helps prevent easy easy i imagine it was supposed to say something else but it doesn't <laughs> just this tiny little bottle um that is 100 and mil milliliters or 3.4 fluid ounces and then in here is a separate package your skin goals achieved so mine came with spot patches um, because i had active acne at the time then it comes with the cleanser, use twice daily, morning and night, gently massage onto damp face, then rinse off. And then I have a moisturizer, apply to face and neck after cleansing, morning and night. This is the specialty formula, and it comes in a white bottle so you know that it's like curated for you. Uh, I will let you guys know in like a month how my skin is. My skin is pretty bad at the moment, breaks out all the time. I've tried to minimize the amount of coffee and dairy that I have in my diet because I know that can like increase the amount of acne that you have um, so I've been noticing a little bit of a difference but regardless of my diet my skin always breaks out so I will let you know in a month whether or not this has worked so these are the emergency spot patches it says apply patch to problem spot wait 6 to 24 hours then peel off repeat daily as needed and I have a little spot on the side of my face that is right here that just popped up yesterday so we'll see okay so i'm going to target because tomorrow is easter and i have three roommates and i wanted to do something fun for easter uh by the way this is the fit for the day your girl looks spicy also this vlog might go up after easter so i hope you all had a fun and safe easter um, but yeah, your girl looks spicy. She's wearing the utility pants and this, um, baggy oversized black t-shirt that I got from Target. Um, I just stuffed it under my bra. So yeah, it's really hot in my car, so I'm gonna get going. So I didn't get to vlog at Target because there was a lot of people there, but oh my bag so I'm gonna make like a turkey or ham dinner. I'm gonna go to Publix because they didn't have like individual ham steaks. So I got the regular gravy, classic chicken gravy because I don't really have time to make my own gravy. Um, I got some Fit Me powder in the shade Fair Light. I got a good old Starbucks iced coffee medium roast. I've never had it before so I'm intrigued to see if I like it or hate it. I got these organic Indian I really thought this was Asian. I really hope I like this. I got the organic Indian Madras lentils. It comes with lentils, red beans, and spices simmered in a creamy tomato sauce. It was in the Asian section. Oh. And Indian makes my bowels not so healthy. And then finally I got this four cheese milky. Um, and I'm intrigued to try it. I'm sure it'll just taste like mac and cheese. But yeah. Um, I'm going to go to... Publix, which is right across the street, so I'll see you guys in a bit. I am back from my ventures, and I bought ice cream, so we can make ice cream sundaes, like a little do your own kind of ice cream sundae. Then I also bought some ham steaks. I found dinner rolls to make for tomorrow. Um, I'm very excited about all of this, so we're gonna have ham steaks, mashed potatoes, and gravy with biscuits, and then we're gonna make ice cream sundaes after.
the um, stress was in. Easter, you know, I want to get a little bit done up for Easter. I'm gonna go in with the Master Prime Maybelline Primer Base Hydrate and Smooth Primer. Um, I've used this like one time and I'm not really sure uh, if I liked it or not, but I already put moisturizer on my face this morning so I don't want to use too much. This primer <laughs> smells like Play-Doh. Primer is done. My face feels tacky for sure. Like it's definitely like sticky. The next thing I have is my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is my newer one. So I'm going to grab my older one. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Usually I do my makeup in front of my mirror over there, but it's a bad angle for the video. So I'm going to do it over here. I what? Oh, there it is. I was like, where's my beauty blender? Okay, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. I don't know. And then I'm using my L'Oreal Beauty Blender to blend it in. I really like this beauty blender, actually. I don't feel like you need super expensive ones. I mean, I prefer the Real Techniques one because it just feels squishier. But so does this one. Okay, I'm really hoping this blended in because I can't really tell. It looks blended. And then I'm going to use, I just bought this yesterday at Target actually. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Love, love this powder. I love Maybelline in general. The only thing I haven't bought from them is eyeliner and that's just because I don't like spending like more than $3 on eyeliner. Um, if I get a free sample of it, I, I use it. Like I just used the Kat Von D uh, felt tip liner and I love it like I love it so much but I'm never gonna go out and buy it because I think it's like $15 which is just ugh, more than I want to spend on an eyeliner um but other than that Maybelline is my favorite makeup brand I love them and now I'm gonna take my very loose face brush and just kind of go over my face to wipe away any of the powder that may not have blended in which I find mostly happens around my eyes and my nose and now I'm gonna go in with my Milani suntan silky matte bronzing powder which I really really like actually and I really like it. it blends out super nice and it's very really buttery it smells good sorry if I'm a little messy with it I don't really know how to apply bronzer but um, I'm not a beauty guru. <laughs> you know what's funny? Is a lot of the like lifestyle vloggers who, when they do their makeup on camera, they're always like, I'm not a beauty guru. And that reminds me of like when math teachers are like, don't mind my spelling, I'm not an English teacher. Or English teachers are like, don't mind my math, I'm not a math teacher. It's like the same cheesy joke. <laughs> it's so funny. Because like, I don't watch you because you're a beauty like vlogger and I want to learn how to do makeup. I watch you because I just want to know your everyday life. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So next thing is my Will Powder Blush in the shade Perseverance. Blah, blah, blah. Perseverance, which came in an Ipsy box, Ipsy bag. Um, I really like the balm. I think they have really, really nice blushes and highlighters. Um, I'm not a fan of their eyeshadow palettes because they're just too sparkly and I like purpley matte shades which a lot is from Tarte. I love Tarte. Oh my god they're I forget what it was but I, I used to have this purple eyeshadow palette that my boyfriend at the time got me and it was so beautiful and I loved it so much. It was like all purples, all matte shades, gorgeous. I threw it in the trash so yeah now I don't have it. I'm really kicking myself in the butt. So I'm going to be putting on highlighter and this is the my, is, what? I don't even know how to pronounce this. 
oh, it's Muse Skin Kaleido Cosmetics, and it comes in this, like, little thing. Also got this in an Ipsy box, and it's in the shade Goddess. It's an ultra-fine pearl illuminator, and I like it because it's subtle. I don't like crazy pigmented highlighters because, like, I don't need my cheek to be popping off with some highlighter, you know? I don't know. Sometimes you just use the same products over and over again. You're just, like, hoping they continue to work. That's what I do. This makeup is expensive. Then I'm hoping this eyeliner works because I really don't know. But I, I went through my makeup, like, last week, so I feel like I would know if this works. But this is the Ciate London Fierce Flicks felt tip liner and it's the only felt tip liner besides the cap on d tattoo liner that i found doesn't dry out after two tries <laughs> which you think would be like a thing but it's not okay i'm gonna go to my mirror to do this because i don't want to mess it up on my face <laughs> okay i'm back my siete london actually dried out so i'm gonna throw this away then i went in with my elf liquid liner which is um it's like a brush but yeah it's just like this little brush and it works pretty well i think it's like four dollars all right then i'm gonna go in with my maybelline tattoo studio eyebrow gel which i feel like is a dupe for the anastasia brow gel like you know which one i'm talking about the fancy one that's like twenty dollars i also don't know how to do brows so i just kind of color mine in because i have like pretty thick brows so I, I don't have to do much to them. And then my brows are done because I don't, um, I like when they look natural, you know? They look, they just, they look fine. If you're wondering what color it is, I have the shade Ash Brown, which is weird because those are not the shade of my brows. Also my powder brush, if you were wondering, my blush brush is from the, sh the Beauty Crop company. So this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara, and I love it. Like, the brush is so soft, and I had a mascara, I think that was by Rimmel London, that, like, scratched my eyelashes, and I hated it. It doesn't make them too clumpy, and it just works fine. Like, I don't know. I don't have a favorite mascara, but, like, whatever will do, you know? But usually, I just don't wear lipstick. But I might wear this one. This is the Sugar Lipstick Crayon Matte as Hell in the shade Viola, which, fun fact, I played the viola in high school, so perfect. It's a pretty shade, honestly. It's like a brown, like a cherry brown. Ugh, so beautiful. Um, but I usually don't wear lipstick, but this one is, like, not so bad, so maybe I'll wear this one today. But yeah, that's it for the makeup look. So I have a tutorial to get done today and then I wanted to finish like a 3D render of something because I feel like I'm behind and I'm not going to get a job after college, which I'm being very honest with you guys um, about how I feel about college because I feel like a lot of people are feeling like this. I'm just stressed out. I graduate in October. I'm just, uh, I'm stressed. But let's not talk about that. Let's like, let's bring positive vibes in. But yes, anyway, I have a lot of work to do. Um, I might vlog some of it. I might not. I don't know. Maybe you'll get, like, a little tidbit. But I did play some Animal Crossing earlier, and that, like, helped me feel a bit better. You might see me in the next clip, or you might see me making dinner in the next clip. Who knows? Well, I haven't really, like, done any of my work yet, but I did want to hop on and just say, like, this is the finished look. If you were interested in seeing it in a bit more, like, HD fashion, um, because right now... It looks pretty good. I didn't realize my lipstick was kind of messed up. I might take it off. It's not my favorite. Um, but yeah, I am genuinely going to get some work done. Maybe I'll put Remy out in the background on my television. Also, yes, that is a Baymax. It's very cute. But yeah, I'm actively going to get some work done. <laughs> death of me it's currently april 5th but i just wanted to say that i forgot to end the vlog so thank you guys so much for watching 
you did enjoy today's video don't forget to hit subscribe also feel free to give this video a like and comment down below whether or not you like these vlogs they're the ones that i like watching so i thought why not make some so yeah